<laughs> like a kindergartner. Anyways, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Got Austin here today, and today we have a pretty cool video. I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to be unboxing a bunch of different Civivis. So some of these I bought, but some of these were also sent by a very generous viewer for me to look at. They are all brand new. So I'm not going to be naming any names, but you know who you are. Uh, thank you. Um, I've been a little bit harsh on Civivi in the past, but I don't hate Civivi. I just gotta say that. I don't hate Civivi. You know that. You see my Civivi collection. Yes, and you're actually, you got me into Civivi. I've collection. got him into Civivi. I give Civivi as gifts a lot. Yes. I, I like Civivi. I just think there's some things that no one ever calls him out on, so. Anyways, let's get into these boxes. Um, my unboxing knife is the Sincut Snap, so it's kind of a cousin to all of these Civivis. Because Sinca is the budget version of Civivi, which is the budget budget version of Wii. Plus so a budget budget. It's a budget budget Wii. <laughs> it's a budget budget Wii. Still good quality, but way cheaper. Right. So I'm not ex entirely sure what all these are. I've tried not to look at the labels, but... Yeah, did we do a pocket check? Yeah, we, what's your unboxing knife going to be? My unboxing knife? Actually, you know what? I'm going to go get my unboxing knife. Okay, hold we'll that get yours. Alright, he's back. And this will be mine. It's a concept. You know, the reason Austin's here is because a friend of mine said that I needed to have someone here to give a second opinion since I'm critical of Civivi sometimes. And he's getting married tomorrow. So we've been setting up his wedding all day. That's why it's kind of laid out right now. I don't know how he convinced that poor girl to marry you. Well, there's not a lot of options anymore. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. Okay. What do you say this one was? Warrior. Warrior, that's right. So this is the concept warrior lefty version, right? Yep. And there you said this is number 27 out of 110 made. Yeah. So this will be my knife for unboxing today. Going all fancy today, huh? Yeah. Okay. Did I already cut this little? No, I did not cut the sticker yet. All right. So let's see what this one is. Okay, Ooh. this is the Civivi Baby Banter, designed by Ben Peterson, and, oh wow, okay, um, the action is good, usually I have a problem with Civivi's um, flipper actions, their thumb set actions are usually pretty good, so this is nice, tiny knife, a lot smaller than I thought it was, it is blue, I like that, but, uh, oh, that is really tiny, yeah. What do you think? Was it G10? Yeah, G10. Looks comfortable. For yeah. A little knife. Yeah, you can choke up I on it. I mean, it, it fits in your hand pretty well. You can choke up on it. it comes with the Civivi sticker, or the Elementum sticker. I like that. I like that. That's kind of like a cute little knife. Yeah. I think that'll be a good, like, backup knife. Yeah, like a good one to have in your back pocket or something. Yeah, fifth pocket carry maybe. Closes pretty well. Yeah. It can be a little bit hard to open because I mean you don't have a whole lot of knife to hold on to, but the, right. well, that's a pretty nice little knife. I do like the blue. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Looks snazzy. All right, your turn. Let's take off that end. So, so let's see. Baby banter. Ooh. Mastodon. Okay. Let's 
see what we got. So you guys know me. I love paleontology. I'm heck. I'm going to school for it. I'm going to debt for it. <laughs> Shut up. So so th this is one that I, I'm hoping is is good. Stay there. Stay there. So here we have the mastodon. And this is an older Ooh. one. This one's not new. Not all these. This is a brand spanking new Civivi. <laughs> that is a chunk. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Get out. Uh oh, someone's calling you. Uh oh. Alright. <clears throat> Mastodon is where we left off. Mastodon. <laughs> so, a massive knife, especially compared to the last one. Right, yeah. In fact, you know what? Here, Spyroco PM2 for a comparison. It's a big knife. That is a honking knife. And it's got G10. I think so. Yeah, it's G10. I don't like Civi's G10 very much, I'll be honest. They're okay. The blade, though, holy moly. 9CR18? Okay. Okay. 9CR18. I like the cleaver blade on that. That is. Right. So, this knife. You can, you can choke up on it. This this same. There's, there's another knife by Civi called the Bull Mastiff that's just like this one, except it has a fuller in the blade. And it's on bearings. This knife is on washers. It's comfortable. Oh yeah, it is very comfortable. You have a nice big choil. Wish there's some tip jimping up, up here. A tip up carry. Wish there's jimping. That would be nice if it had jimping. The detent sucks. It's on washers, and washers can flip good. Um, like the steel wheel modus I have flips really well. In fact, I think this detent so bad I could probably. This is on washers, isn't it? No, that one's on bearings. This is on. Oh yeah, bearings. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I can. Whip that blade out. Okay, let's... Yeah. Try not to smack Austin awesome in the face. I'm going to my... <laughs> get married tomorrow and have a black eye. I, don't, I, don't... <laughs> I, I like it. Um, I like it. I like it because it's a chunky knife. And... Right. I think I mean, I mean think it's a four-inch blade. But, I mean, that is a chunk. That's... Oh, I mean, this is a chunk of a blade, too. But... Yeah. Yeah. That's a knife that you'd use to scare somebody. For sure. <laughs> I, I like that. I even like the way they ground it right here, too. Right, the plunge grind looks good. The plunge grind looks really good. A little lanyard hole. Oh, they even did some mill work in there. Yeah. They did quite a bit of mill It's work a heavy in there. knife still, though. It's it's blade heavy. Right. But, I mean, it's... It's balanced kind of where it's supposed to be. So. That's, still, that's a nice knife. I like that one. Okay. I'm going to use the baby banter to get into the next one. I'm not going to look what it is. We'll be surprised. You know, the baby banter is in Nitro V steel. And I know a lot of people like that steel. I haven't had good experiences with it from Civivi. Um, by the time this video goes live, I'll have another video out about that. But we'll see. Okay, what's this one? Oh, oh, I did not know this one was coming. You should recognize Ooh. this one. I have the cooler version of that. The cooler version. Oh yeah. So this is the Ortis. Um, interestingly, I have bought two of these. But one was for me. One I gave to you, and one I gave to my girlfriend. Mine is green with the uh, black blade. Okay. That flipper tab, I can already tell. Yeah, I like this action a lot better than a lot of other CVVs. Mine flips. Mine's got a. I think my flipper tab's a little bigger than that one though. Interestingly, it's off center. I haven't seen that from Civivi very much. Oh, that's weird. Um, this is a very cheap knife. This is the cheapest one that we've unboxed so far. But they're still flick. really, they're really good budget knives. Yeah, thumb flick. Come on. Ah, yeah. Much easier to finger flick. Yeah, I remember when I got you yours for Christmas. 
Um, I handled it, and I was like, dang, you know what? I should got myself one. I do like the black, uh, black and blue. That's pretty nice, though. Yeah, I like black and blue. But I do like my green and blue, green and black with the black blade. That's right. right. But mine is, I think my flip tab's my flip tab's different than this. Is it? One. It's not the same. If you get it just right, though, it really shoots out. Yeah, the, the, this knife does have good action, especially it's, for a CBD. It's got the, uh, the crimping. If the, the yeah. uh, Mastodon had this... Right, right. Be way, and even had it on here, it'd be really nice. But. Yeah. You know, that's something, too. I wish that one had jimping on top of the yeah. blade. But it's really nice yeah. knife. Yeah, really comfortable, too. And the handles are FRN, but yeah, it feels like G10. And I actually prefer this to Savivi's G10, which yeah, I don't say very often. Yeah, I don't I usually do. prefer plastic to G10, but in this case, I think I do. I have liked the order, so it's been one of my favorites yeah. from Civivi. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, we got a little fancy one. Oh, we got plastic. the plastic. I'm going to use a different knife to open this one. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're just going to switch up knives every time we open a package. Using the Beztek Warwolf this time. We might as well. I mean, we got enough knives. We, we do have a lot of knives out here right now. It's funny, my knives are all black. That's kind of your style. That's true. <laughs> I am. You struggling there, buddy? Oh, no. There we go. I got it. Oh. So this is the Imperium. Oh, this is a new one. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's got the uh, front flipper. That's a nice little knife. It's really thin. But it's super comfortable. Right. And it's got uh, crimping on the top, so. Oh, good. You can even choke up on it a little bit. That's a nice little knife. Hmm. Okay, so, oh, okay. For steel. Wow, and the G10 actually has like this weird milling pattern. I did Nitro not Nitro V. Yeah, Nitro V again. I'll have to give it some more time. Wow. Okay. Ooh, that thumb stud action. Oh my gosh. That's snappy. Wow. Yeah, so there's the knife. This would be a great one to die. That's what I was thinking when I pulled it out. All right. Much like your... Yeah, the... the your snap. budget budget. Okay. Wow. Some cut budget budget. Okay, I hate the clip in the hand. It's a little bit painful, but I say that about... It sticks out a little too much. Pretty much every Civivi. Okay. That, I, I like that one a lot, You can actually. see for me, it doesn't bug me. Right, because he's a lefty. Because <laughs> of the clip. Yeah, no, I didn't. So it's pretty comfortable for me. But I like it, except for it's... I'm not the biggest fan of some super thin knives, because right. then they just feel too small in my hand. But right. for, it's a nice little knife. I like it. It's more like something... It's like a more fancy... Yeah, it's kind of like a gents carry. In fact, yeah. there are some versions of this knife that look like super fancy. So... That's centered. Oof. Yeah, that's nice. I do like
the little one. All right, I'm gonna open the next one. What knife should I use? <laughs> you know what? My new Spyderco Tanto PM2. Oh, this was already open. Oh. Sorry, PM2. <laughs> next time, next time. Okay. Oh, this is an old one too. Okay. Oh. This is the Picaro. Ooh, I like that. Okay, this is a big knife. I know that, <laughs> a big knife. that Jared at Neves Knives loves this knife. It's on washers, which I don't mind. I like washers. Huh. Trying to figure out that reverse flick. It has thumb studs and a hole. Thumb studs work good. Yeah, you don't really see that. It needs to break in a little bit, I think. I like. I just like the uh, the contrast, the gray and the black. I yeah, that, that is, looks really oh, cool. That's a beautiful knife. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be broken. It needs to be broken in quite a bit. And it's not. It's not very heavy. It's not heavy for such a big knife. I, I bet that's a four inch blade uh, I mean, too. Look at it. Look how much weight they took yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and it has double stop pins. It has an open stop pin and a closed one. Okay, my camera was a jerk and cut us off. So let's get back to it. Um, we were playing around with the Picaro just a little bit. Uh, I do think it needs some breaking in. It, yeah, Austin was getting to, it to finger flick pretty good. A little bit of wrist, but I'm sure it'll break in. That's usually how washers Jesus, are. Thumb studs, though, it's not so bad. Yeah. The detent is I like okay. It. I think it's okay. But I, I like it. I think it's a... I mean, it looks like... Where's the Ortis? Uh, right here. What, what knife does this... This looks like... There's a knife that CBB has. It looks just like this, but it's way smaller. The has, governor? Is it, has, it has the same big because it doesn't have the thumb stubs. It has the big. It has the same blade. Oh. It's just smaller, but I don't remember what it's called. Uh, is it the vagabond or the the know. elementum? It might be. Yeah, this this actually does kind of look like a big elementum. If we're being on, if I'm being honest. But I think that is a. I do like the contrast between the gray right. and the black, and it's got good texture on it. So yeah, it's a comfortable. I like that one. It's a comfortable knife. It really is. I like it. Yeah, you can choke up. It's got the crimping. You can choke up on right. it. Right. This seems like it'd be a good work knife. It really does. Yeah, it's light. It'll be. Well, that's a good care knife in general because it's big, but it's yeah. It's light. You get a lot of blade for not so much. I mean, it's also pretty narrow, so it'll go in the pocket really good. Yeah, well. You ready for the next one? Yeah, go ahead. So this one, are you reading the names right away or just? It's up to you. I've been keeping it a surprise. You can go with whatever you want. Well, uh, keep it a surprise. I love the way this one deploys. It's because it's got such a honking blade. Yeah. <laughs> honking. <laughs> honking. Honking. Although, you know, I will say, this is, I don't know the price of the Picaro. I think it's like a $50 Civivi. This is a fifteen dollar knife I bought. It came in yesterday, and the action on washers. This isn't on bearings either. Is ridiculously smooth. Oh. All right, what we got here? This is a Lazar. Oh, this is a new one. Uh, this is by. Look at that um, purple. Okay, yeah, I like the purple. That purple is. Um, what's his name? Isham. <laughs> Elijah Isham, and this is <laughs> like his that. sequel to the McKenna, which. Is discontinued. They discontinued the McKenna. Why? I have no idea, but I love the McKenna. Ooh. That looks smooth. That looks smooth. All right, all right. I got, That's a I, I gotta try knife. this out. Ten CR fifteen. Ten CR fifteen. I don't have any experience with that steel. Okay. You know what? 
I was a little bit worried about this trailing point blade. I but like the way the handle it is fits perfectly. Yeah. Clip for me again being a righty, a little bit of problems. I think this is one of my favorite ones that we've opened. So I know you're not even letting me hold it. I know. <laughs> it's got crimping on it, but it's like it's comfortable. I mean, for being a small knife, it's actually way, right, it's right. way better than the I think I saw this one on Blade HQ. I think these are fifty five bucks. I like that though. That's pretty nice. Yeah. And I, I think the purple will really I like the purple. It's a got lot. like the, the dual texture. Yeah. And it has internal stop pins. I always like that. Very easy front flipper. Yeah, it is. It's got like no resistance. Yeah, and that's because they did the jimping all the way around. It's so smooth. That deploys fast. Yeah, okay. That's a, that's a good one. That's a good mm -hmm. one. I'm not going to lie. That is a good one. That is a really good knife. I like that one. That's cool. Okay. Okay. I like that one. That one's pretty awesome. The Lazar. Lazar. Okay. You know what? Okay. All right, last one. Let's see what we got. I'll use the Fortis. Fortis. Having trouble there? Doing some light duty prying. Light duty prying. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I and actually I know what this one is just because there's nothing else left. This is a beautiful action. Yes, that knife is that knife is good. <laughs> of course, that knife costs a lot more than the Savivis we've been going over. That's true. That's a, that's so a this is a Savivi Hadros or Hadros by Dylan Mallory, and ironically, Dylan Mallory he's a dinosaur nut just like me. Of course. And so Hadros, I'm guessing he named this after Hadrosaurs or Hadrosaurus, which isn't a very well-known hadrosaur, but, um... Okay. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. Is that a sheep's foot? It's like a worn... It's just worn cliff. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Handle is thin. Again, Savivi, you gotta stop with these big pocket clips on these skinny handles. That's true. The jimping but is nice. the one they had on here didn't, wasn't that bad. Uh, For me, it was. I mean, yeah. something that's about true. being a lefty... Is in the left hand, pocket clips like really aren't that big of a deal. Although this one actually does kind of feel like even worse in my left hand. My finger gets right on there. Here, what do you think? <laughs> micarta, this one's in Micarta. That's really smooth in Micarta. Which I don't really like to do these Micarta that much, but this one's okay. Yeah, it's okay. The pocket clip doesn't bug me too much because, I mean, it just... Right. It doesn't bug me too much. But it's, it's nice. It's just, jeez, it's a little hard to deploy. Yeah, because I think it's because the handle's so narrow. Yeah, you, it's hard to get a, a good grip on it. But I think if they made the handle a little thicker. Maybe so. Because, I mean, it looks kind of like, I mean, it looks like a butcher knife handle. Let's see here, it's, it's nice. It is nice. It's just not my favorite of the I'm not bunch. sure I like how they did that edge termination. I like Dylan Mallory's designs. This one is on bearings. Um, I didn't show it close already. It's it's not that bad. It's just not. It's, this is the most. It's not the best. This is the most confusing for me out of the bunch because, like, right now I'm already looking at this. I'm like, okay, I like this Warncliffe blade. I can see this being really useful, but I don't know if I like this knife. I like the blade, I just don't like the handle that much. If the handle, like I said, was a little thicker, right. 
then I wouldn't have a problem with it. it. I mean, look at that folded up. There is so much blade. So you can't, in fact, I bet I could reverse click this off the blade. Almost. Almost. Let's see. One more try. Oops. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of blade sticking out of the handle. That is. That's... It's actually smaller than I thought it would be, too. Ah, uh, yeah. I was looking um, a little bit bigger, but... I I'll spoil this. I bought this one. Um... That is weird. I really don't know how I feel about that. Well, it's too bad you're just still deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I can sell it if I need to. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it's... I don't know. I mean, the my card is nice. The blade is nice. I yeah. The design, yeah. Nice, yeah, Dylan Mallory's Maker's Mark. I like his that. His Maker's Mark is nice, but it's... I think the problem I have with it is the handle. I hit my pinky finger on the way out with that one. Youch! <laughs> I mean, luckily it didn't do anything, but, like, there's not... There's... There, there's, like, nothing to hold on to. I mean, like, that's my finger width on there. Like... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to carry this one a lot before I review it because... But I'll say, for it being small, it is somewhat comfortable. It's yeah. just, I don't know how, like, that kind of blade shape with this handle, right. though. And see, what I'm kind of thinking is, you know, like, for utility cuts, where you're going to be holding it like like this with the handle going back into your hand. Yeah, that, that makes uh, more sense. Works. But... Yeah, it's good utility knife. It's a good utility knife. Although, you know, I'll be honest, I don't really do that much utility knife work. No, I don't either. You know? Like, my knives usually for small stuff. All right, I, I well, use... sometimes. You know, well, and, you know, it kind of depends whether I'm at college or in the mountains. Yeah, that's true. But... Well, I mean, then, when you're in the mountains, you carry a knife that right. can handle beating anyways. Right, and so... I mean, that's not a knife you're going to take to the mountains I, I would never take up. this knife to the mountains. Yeah. But I'll have to review this one a lot. And we're losing daylight, but I think we should go through real right quick. Let's just... Gosh, so many boxes. And... Let's see, there's seven of them. There's one more knife, but uh, it's not here yet. I heard it got delayed, so... So we'll just set them all out, and then we'll go through and pick what our favorites are. How's that sound? I like that idea. Okay, hold on, I got one more. One... The big one. Oh, this is quite the colorful little rainbow of knives. I mean, here, let me pull yes, up my flashlight so you guys can actually see this, kind of. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and go from my favorite to least favorite. Okay. I honestly think my favorite one is the Imperium. The Imperium is a good one. I think that's my favorite. I think my second favorite is the Lazar. Yep. Okay. Third favorite? <sighs> I'm tossed between those those two over there. Probably the baby banter as my third favorite. Fourth favorite has got to be the Picaro, just because of how big it is. I might actually take this one to the mountains. Yeah, that would be something that you can actually right. do stuff with. Okay. And then... And then we're going to actually, we're going to go Hadros, Ortis... And I actually think the Mastodon is my least favorite because I just, that detent is just... Yeah, that, that shit. shit. That detent, it's... it's so. okay. I think mine's not too bad. Mine's a little different from yours. Because oh, I think... I always have a soft spot for the Ortis. But I think this one was probably my number one. The Lazar, The yeah. Lazar is probably my number one. It's because, like, it's just a smooth little knife. It is very smooth. Like, you can... 
You don't have to press real hard to get it to mm -mm. shoot out, and it does crazy. CD tends to do good front flippers, other so than I, that. I think I'm going to go the Lazar. Hmm. Probably... I think I'm gonna go big boy. Over I knew here. it. I knew the Picard was gonna be your second. I knew it. Yeah, the Picard probably second, and then I'm gonna go with uh, this feather, the Imperium, because that's another yeah nice knife oh, yeah. for it being for it being small and yeah. And, I and then I my say that and then my Ortis, your Ortis, of course, because I I love the Ortis. I think that's just a sick little knife. Oh yeah. Anyways, oh, yeah, for sure. And then the little squirt. The <laughs> little squirt. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's blue. A little, little squirt. <laughs> I think that'll be my, what? That's my fifth one? Um, let's see. First, one, second, two, third, three, four, four yeah. five. Yeah. So, yeah, this will be my fifth. And I think the Mastodon will be my sixth and the Hadris will be, the Hadris will last, will be my right. last. Because okay. I am not a big fan of that handle. Right, right. And then I, I knew you'd like the, the Mastodon because... I like big, heavy talking. If we had more time, we would take the... You know what? We're going to take this and do some stupid stuff with it when we turn off this video. Oh, oh yeah. So. Definitely. Yeah. Not sure if we'll film it because it's getting really freaking dark. But Really freaking dark. But, I mean, you know, this one still wins. Hands down. Right. <laughs> I gave him that as his wedding knife. Yeah. Yes. And it is... Awesome. Oh, yeah, I can tell. It is a beautiful knife. Yeah, I think that was my order. I have. I think the yeah. it's the Lazar is probably my. I agree. I, the, I, the Lazar is really, really good. It's a lot better than even I was anticipating. It's a good one. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be so good for me. Such a small knife because it's smaller than the Imperium. Yeah, in fact, it is even smaller than that. Well. Is it smaller than the Hadros? It's got a bigger handle, right? But it's I mean, about the same size. I think it kind of balances out. That's true. But like the blade and the handle for the Lazard are like they complement each other. But for like, right? It, it, they they don't for the other, the other, the other one. I agree. You know what? Since this footage is so dark, I think I'll just put like B roll of the knives over us discussing them. That'll work. <laughs> and then <laughs> have the like over. our. How, how, how we ordered right, them, and I then how like, so. yours, how what you numbered it, and then what I numbered them while we're talking about that. I think so, probably. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, so there we go. There were seven Civivi first impressions. Um, I'm curious to t test out these knives. Um, yeah, these hi chief. <laughs> these will get a good review, and uh, well, I'm not sure if the review will be good or not, but these will get a review. So I have high hopes for some of them. I do too. What are you doing? Come here. I've been Gideon. <laughs> I've been Austin. And this is Chief. And this is Chief. You probably can't see because he's a big black dog. <laughs> Get down, buddy. Go on. Go on, Chief. Go on. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Bye.